welcome to another Pixlet tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to look at the filters in Pixlet and there are a number of filters that are built into the software that you can adjust your images with and we're going to look at a few of those in this video. So I've got a video group of animals and I've used the lasso and the polygonal lasso just to um, draw an outline ar ar around the middle monkey and the idea is to have the middle monkey always in a, a clear focus whereas the rest of the picture will be uh, subjected to one of the filters. So first thing is to make a copy of this selection. So I'm going to edit copy and then create a new image from the clipboard, making it transparent and call it the main monkey. Okay, let's save the image as main monkey and as a PNG onto the desktop. Now I need to erase the background from this image. All I want is the tree that the monkey is hanging on to and the monkey and the branch is sitting on the tail some of this foliage and everything else needs to be cut away and I'm going to do that in clippingmagic.com rather than do it with the erase tool because it's a take forever and I haven't got a steady hand to do that so I'm not going to save it going to clipping magic and import that file from the desktop okay so the green bit I want to keep the red marks will be for those areas that I want to lose so a smaller brush and go over and it stay well within the lines do a clipping mask close to the head Gone a bit too close to the edge there, so I can rub that out. And then the smaller brush to mark out the branch this is tail not sure what that is but we'll keep it then red to cut away the bits that I don't want bigger brush Bit up the top. And there's uh, all of the little fiddly bits are going to take a bit of time. So then I would test some of the shaping and the feathering. Offset. Now I'll come back once I have finished that image and show you the results. So here's the finished image with the background removed and I've downloaded it and now I'm going to import it back into Pixlr. So in a new layer, open images layer, the transparent monkey. So rename this layer, the transparent monkey. And then with the move tool, I can move it around. I need to place it exactly over the top of the background layer as close as possible. And now we can start experimenting with filters. 
Now, the background layer is the layer that we're going to apply the filter to. So if I now select Gaussian Blur, and then the amount of blur, you can see it blurring in the background, not too much, and OK. The background layer has had the filter applied, and the foreground, which is that copy, is still sharp and in focus. And then you would save that image. So let's do a different one. Try some of these filters. Pixelate. And you've got to decide how big you want the, the pixels to be. You can start seeing the change here. And I don't want it so pixelated that you can't see what the image is. So perhaps there. The, the main monkey is still in focus. The rest of it is pixelated. Let's look at heat map. And you can change the you know, quite a lot of the, the image by experimenting with the amount of heat. You keep going up here and it's going to be quite warm. I sort of like it like that. And undo that. There's a lot of different uh, filters here. Point and eyes. You can either have by dots. Squares, large circles, small circles. It's a pretty different effect. Water swirl. Don't like that. Almost all the filters have some other qualities or criteria that you can adjust. So, for example, here's a vignette, and I can adjust the size of that so how dark it's going to be and where it starts and uh, the color so maybe a green a darker green to match that the trees and okay and it's only being applied to that background layer so you get the idea there's quite a lot of, of other filters there, and what you need to do is just go through and have a look at them all and see what they do and experiment. Uh, the hardest part was actually cutting out that image and making it transparent. So that's all for this video.